Hello there. Say, have you ever felt an urge to wrap your friend up in toilet paper just to mess with them? No? That's a shame. So how about this then? Say you live in ancient Egypt and your college sweetheart equivalent, or whatever it was back then, passed away for some unexplainable reason. Being the wonderful and beautiful person you are, you want to send them into the afterlife peacefully. So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to wrap up your dead buddy in linen cloth, of course. That's what leads us to why we're here today, to talk about some of the chemistry behind wrapping dead people up with some sort of cloth. In other words, mummification. The mummification process is a lot more nerdier than you might think it is, involving some science, chemicals, and a little bit of black magic. First, the person has to be dead. Kind of inconvenient these days, huh? Can't just go around hauling people. Anyways, once dead, the organs are harvested, all except for the heart and sometimes the kidneys. Long story short, just yank them out and shove them into some jars. When the body is hollowed, the embalming process begins. It's dried up like beef jerky to prevent decomposition. Now, for the chemistry part. The body is stuffed with natron, a salt mixture consisting of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate, as well as small amounts of sodium chloride and sodium sulfate. All this natron mixture is hygroscopic, meaning absorbs water pretty darn easily and speeds up desiccation. Natron also saponifies body tissue into soap, which prevents decomposition. Fast forwarding around 40 days, the body is dried up. The natron is removed and more stuff is put in. Maybe sawdust, linen, some cinnamon, and air, frankincense, and onions. Some of these items have antimicrobial properties, such as cinnamon aldehyde and cinnamon, which protects the body against microorganisms and fungal growth, such as terpenes, a family of molecules based on isopropyl 2 method 1 3 butadine which prevents decomposition too. The mummy is eventually dried and oiled up. Finally, let's wrap it up. Pun intended. And voila, mummification for dummies. Honestly, because editing this video takes a very long time, this is your not-so-great explanation of mummification and chemistry. Hope you enjoyed it.